Welcome to our game show, Name That Shape, where you tell me if it's a 2D shape or a 3D shape. Let's meet our first and only contestant today. What's your name? My name is Mr. Mariani. It's a great name. And what do you do? I'm an art teacher in the Chicago Public Schools. Wow, what a great career choice, if I can say so myself. The rules of the game are very simple. All you have to do is tell me if the shape is 2D or 3D. If you get it right, you win the game. Let's take a look at our first shape. Is this a 2D shape or a 3D shape? And the second one, is this a 2D shape or a 3D shape? You have 10 seconds to answer. Wow, we need to help Mr. Mariani, so we gotta learn our 3D shapes. The first one is a cube. Then we have a cylinder. Then we have a sphere. Then we have a cone. And last we have a rectangle, a rectangular prism. Well, I wonder what this shape is. Is this a, cone, a cube? Is this a cylinder? Is it a sphere? Is this a cone? Is this a rectangular prism? It's a rectangular prism. This box of cereal is a rectangular prism. What about this party hat? Cube? Is it a cylinder? Is it a sphere? Is it a rectangular prism? Is it a cone? You're absolutely right. This party hat is a cone. I wonder about this ball. Is it a cube? Is it a rectangular prism? Is this ball a cone? Is this ball a cylinder? Is this ball a sphere? You're absolutely right, this ball is a sphere. Great job, kindergarten. Now let's look at this can of Coke. Is this can of Coke a cube? Hmm, I don't think so. Is this can of Coke a sphere? No. What about cone? No. Is it a rectangular prism? No. Is this can of Coke a cylinder? It is a cylinder. Good job, kindergarten. Let's look at this shape. Is this one a rectangular prism? No. Is it a cone? Nope. Is this one a sphere? Nope. Is this a cylinder? Is this a cube? This is a cube. Awesome job, kindergarten. So let's go over our shapes one more time. We have a cube, a cylinder, a sphere, a cone, and a rectangular prism. And we're gonna learn how to draw all of these today and use them in a drawing. All right, kindergarten, for today's lesson, all you're going to need is a piece of paper and a pencil. Now, I'm gonna use a marker today just because I want you to see it a little bit better. But if you use a marker and you make a mistake, can you erase it? No. So in the first corner up here, I'm gonna write the word cube. Cu-ube. Now I'm gonna draw a cube. So the first thing I want you to do is make a square. And we know it's a square because it has four equal sides. Same, 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 square. Now I'm gonna go up and over, up and over. So I'm going to start by making a line right there and I'm gonna make another square. And my square is up and over. This is a corner. This is where two lines meet. They come to like this sharp little point. That's called a corner. I'm gonna take a line and I'm gonna start in my corner and I'm gonna go to the next corner right next to it. Same over here. Same over here, and same over here. I have four corners. This is my cube. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cone. Cu 
phone. This one is easier to me. I'm gonna make an oval, a squished skinny oval. Then in the middle of the oval, I'm gonna go all the way up and put a little dot right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to connect to the side and connect to the side. I got a nice cone. The next one I'm going to do is a cylinder. Cylinder. This one I'm going to do is a squished oval and a squished oval. Now these two have to be the same size. You can't make one big and one small, otherwise it's not going to work as a cylinder. Then what we're going to do is make a straight line down and a straight line down. Perfect. Now let's move into a sphere. I'm gonna go ahead and make a circle. Then I'm going to make a bump in the middle and I'm gonna turn my paper and make a bump in the middle. And that's gonna give me my sphere. The last thing I'm going to do is do a rectangular prism. Now that one's a very big word. Rectangular prism. Woof, big word. Very, very big word. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a rectangle. And we know it's a rectangle because it's short, short, long, long. Short, short, same, same, long, long, same, same. And I'm gonna move up and over. Short, short, long, long. Now, remember our corners on our cube? We gotta do the same thing on our rectangular prism. So connect the corner, connect the corner, connect the corner, and connect the corner. And that's gonna be my rectangular prism. Now I have all these shapes, but now we get to do the fun part of the assignment. On the back of your paper, what you can do is you can create a picture using 3D shapes. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think and use my imagination. I'm going to envision, hmm, what I can make. And I'm gonna make a glass of lemonade because it's almost time for summer and I love lemonade in the summer. So I'm gonna do a oval, oval, and I'm gonna make my cylinder. Now, I love to have some ice in my lemonade. And what 3D shape is ice? Well, they're cubes, we call them ice cubes. So I'm gonna go square, up over square, connect, 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 connect. Square, up over square, connect, 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 connect. Square, up over square, connect, 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 connect. And I'm gonna put some lemonade in there and some circles for some bubbles. And if you wanna give yourself a straw, maybe put a straw in there. I like straws that have stripes on them. A bendy straw is actually fun for me too. And I have my nice glass of lemonade. But you can create something with a cone, maybe like an ice cream cone, a party hat. Use your imagination, kindergarten. This is where you get to be creative. Now let's go back to our game show and see if Mr. Mariani can get those questions right. Welcome back. Now, Mr. Mariani, it is time to tell us, is this first shape a 2D shape or a 3D shape? A 2D shape, because I can't see around it. You're absolutely right, congratulations. You got the first one correct, but now you need to get the second one to win the game. Last question for all the marbles. Is this a 2D shape? or a 3D shape. I think it's a 3D shape because I can see all around it. Congratulations, you have won, name that shape. Now let me turn it over to my beautiful assistant, Rachel, to tell you what you have won. Rachel, what does he want? You are the lucky winner of this very small giraffe. 